I mean, I can't, I just can't even imagine. I, yeah. can't, I can't fathom everything that they, they went through. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is happening all over. Families are thrust to the forefront of these cases, you know, forced to deal with negotiations, politics, media. So then what needs to be done to rectify this, to keep this from happening again? As you said, it's happening more than we know. Yeah, I mean, well, let me give you a quick example. The day that the Huangs were convicted, the U.S. Embassy announced an $11 billion arms deal that they were doing with the Qatar Defense Ministry. Um, while they were telling the Huang family that they were doing everything they could to secure their release, uh, President Obama thanked the Qatari government for their role in the Bergdahl Taliban 5 swap. So what that gesturing and messaging does is it tells governments there won't be any consequence for mistreating Americans and having them wrongfully imprisoned. It happened to me. I was wrongfully imprisoned uh, in Central America many years ago. Uh, but like many Americans who are traveling, investing, studying abroad, falling in love overseas, uh, I found myself, uh, you know, accused of a crime I didn't commit, uh, a legal system that didn't make sense. The, you know, U.S. government wasn't giving me really good advice. Uh, big Washington law firms didn't understand the nuances culturally. So it really ended up being my family uh, having to go through a learning curve. And that's what we do at the David House Agency. We help shorten the learning curve for families.